Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm not only doing one shoe unboxing, I am doing two. So my best friend spoiled me rotten for my birthday at the end of February. Because of the horrible times we are going through at the moment, I have not had chance to wear them yet. So they are still fresh, brand new in the box. So I decided to come on and do a double shoe unboxing. They are from the same brand, which is Giuseppe Zanotti. I'd actually never heard of the brand before. I walked into the store flannels, saw the design, fell in love with two pairs. And as you can see, I do have a shoeaholic, uh, or I am a shoeaholic. So I decided to get both pairs. They are called the May Suede Sneaker, and they are kind of the same, just a few different changes to them. So I'm gonna go through the price, the size, the materials, and the design, and we're just gonna run through it very quickly. So let's get the first sneaker out. I'm actually gonna start with the other ones because these are the ones that I fell in love with first and then we spotted them and ended up walking home with them as well. So inside of the box, you get one of these lovely shoe bags. Now I always recommend to keep these in a drawer. They are very, very handy to have because if you're going away somewhere, taking a bag or a suitcase, you don't wanna shove your sneakers into your suitcase or your bag because you're gonna damage them. So just pop them into here and it's gonna add a nice little bit of protection. I do actually think this is the nicest one I've ever received. It's this kind of nice silky material. Just sit here and do this, it's very soothing. Um, so yeah, just pop that in a drawer somewhere. It's actually so nice, I might use it for something else because I've got two of them now. And then the sneakers. So let's put them on top of the box because everyone always says, you put new sneakers on a table, you get bad luck. And I do not want bad luck. So these are the ones that I spotted first in flannels, fell in love with. They were supposed to be 485 pounds. They were reduced to 340, so I thought, bargain, I've got to get my hands on them. Love the simple design, obviously just black and white. It is suede on the top, and then you've got the white on the rubber on the sole. I always love trainers. You'll see from all of these, um, I love a white sole and then a different color top. It breaks up your outfit. It makes you look less stumpy and taller. Um, these are a size eight and I am a size eight and they are true to size. And because they have these zips on the side, so they still have laces, but they also have these zips. So you want to do them, put your feet in them like you do with every pair of shoe. And then when you do the zips back up again, it actually makes the shoe fit to your foot like a glove. They feel so comfortable. They've got the logo inside, uh, nothing on the bottom really, but they are a really good grip. That might sound weird to say, but Sometimes when you wear shoes, I find them really slippy on floors as soon as you buy them. However, these, they kind of, they feel sturdy on my carpet because obviously I've not wore them yet. So yeah, you've got the two zips, the lace, as I said, just kind of a very simple design. But the best thing about these is they can be worn all year round, really easy to partner up with any outfit. You can wear them with a suit to make it more of a smart casual vibe, or you can pop them with a pair of jeans or some tracky bottoms in more of a casual look. So even though they are 340 pounds, you're gonna get your wear out of them. So for a more premium pair of shoes, uh, they're definitely worth the purchase because I have some shoes that I've spent even more on and they never really get worn that much. So they look great on that shelf behind, but they probably weren't worth the price. So let's move on to the second pair. Just pop these back in the box. Da, 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 da. So as I said, the second pair, very, very, very similar, just a few different things to them. So obviously you do get, uh, it's in there somewhere, same bag as before. And then these are the second ones. Also you get this little envelope inside of the box. It just tells you a little bit about the brand and obviously lets you know that the shoes are real. I've put up shoe unboxings before in the past and everyone's like, they're fake because they're this and they're fake because that. I'm like, I've bought them from the proper store. If they're fake, then the stores rip me off. There's nothing more I can do. So these are the second ones. I absolutely love these and I wanted to get these because they have a more summer vibe to them. They're obviously a brighter color. It's this kind of like charcoal-y or light charcoal gray color. Perfect to partner up with maybe a pair of white jeans. Again, they can be more with a jean or a tracky bottom. I wouldn't personally put these with a suit. These were actually supposed to be 500 pounds, so more than them, but they were reduced down to 350. So 10 pounds more than the black ones. I do actually think the black ones are probably worth 
or you'd think that they were the higher price because I'd get more wear out of them. But I think it's because the material on these has a suede on the front here and on the side bits. And then some of the parts of the shoe um, is leather. So there's a difference of material on there. Again, we've gone for the white sole. As I said, I just love a white sole. Now I will say with these, I did try a size eight on and strangely they felt really big on my feet. Honestly, I've, it was really weird because I've gone for a seven and a half and now they fit okay but an eight felt like huge. So just be careful if you are gonna buy these ones because they're a size eight and they fit perfectly, but these from the same brand and they are both the May suede trainers, so they're both the same design, uh, these seem to come um, a little bit bigger. Also with these, um, I have been told a friend of mine has this design, not the full suede ones, and sometimes, um, the zip parts on the top, they can dig into your feet. Now, obviously I've not had a huge amount of time to wear them. I have wore them around the flat a little bit, walking up and down the carpet like it's a catwalk, like it's a cat show, um, fashion show. But that's all I can do right now because obviously we are all inside. So I am gonna be careful with these because um, I do know I've had a pair of shoes like this in the past and it can tend to dig into the top of your feet. But hopefully because they are the right size for me, um, it won't tend to do that. So very similar design, apart from the materials, it's kind of the same, so the logo inside. I would say with the laces on these ones, with the black ones, because they're a little bit smarter, because they're black, um, I would probably tuck the laces down inside and just do up the zips because they feel tight on the feet or nice around the feet. With these, because they're more casual, I'd probably do the laces up at the front and then zip the zips up. So yeah, 350, uh, they are comfortable, but I've just not walked further enough to know if they're gonna hurt or not because my Louboutins, I put them on at first and they felt great. Walked for about three hours and they kill my feet. So can't really comment on that yet. But yeah, that's it. Both pairs of shoes, um, very simple, but honestly, I'm definitely gonna get my wear out of these. Hopefully in summer, we can pop these on. I think they're a really nice color. And again, really easy to partner up with uh, more like vibrant summer colors. So I'll be linking them both down in the description box below if you wanna go and check them out for yourself. If you have any questions about sizing or just any questions about the shoes or just any questions in general, then pop them down in the comments box below and I'll come back to you when I can. And uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget Yet. Now you've stayed with me all the way until the end, so click that subscribe button and if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. So that's it for today's shoe unboxing guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Take care. See you then.